Welcome back to the Black and Gold Report. Again, talking football with Coach Pete Chinnick. Coach, um, do you um, take any solace knowing that uh, three of your four losses this season were against teams that were regionally ranked and potentially could we'll all be in the playoffs? A little bit, but we knew that when we set our schedule up. Uh, we, we, we tried to give uh, our team the best advantage that it possibly could by scheduling the best opponents uh, that we could find. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm proud of the fact that we're scheduling good people and they're playing well. Uh, at the same time, I think, you know, a couple of these losses were so close, uh, so right there. Uh, it, it'll take a little time before I think I appreciate that or, um, you know, feel good about that. Sure. Well, despite the, the loss, you've had uh, four winning seasons of your last five. And, of course, that fifth season you were 500 as well. You've threatened the playoffs on a number of occasions. Uh, what is UNCP's reputation like now amongst Division II football schools? I mean, are, you, are we making a name for ourselves? And do people know about the Pembroke brand now? I, I believe so. You know, and, and I think part of that, you know, we've been ranked – uh, three out of the last four years. Uh, like you said, we've been in the playoff hunt. Um, I think if you look at us the last four years, uh, having been to the playoffs, um, having had good records, eight and three last year, uh, six and four this year, but late into, both, late into all four of these last seasons, um, you know, we've been in the playoff hunt. Mm -hmm. uh, we've lost some games down the road uh, in our five and five year and this year as well. Uh, so people know who we are. They recognize that we do play a good brand of football. Um, we just need to, you know, get that push now to get back to where we were a couple years ago uh, when we did make the playoffs. So well, that's really been the focus. We'll talk about scheduling in a second here, Coach. But you being an independent, when you are a recognized good team in Division Two football, does that make scheduling more difficult, knowing that other teams are going to have to schedule you as a potential team that could be? Well, it, it, it makes it extremely difficult because no one has to play us. Uh, and that's the bottom line. I mean, everybody who plays us really says, okay, we want you. So we really get everybody's best uh, when you think about it. Because a team that, uh, you know, has a similar record or a similar uh, opportunity as us, they're sitting there going, well, if we play them and we play them in the region and they beat us, that might take away our playoff opportunity. Mm -hmm. uh, so we haven't turned down anybody to play a game, but we've been turned down by many people to, uh, to schedule a game. I can imagine that. Well, Coach, what, what now? The season's over. What's next? Uh, what do you and your coaching staff, what do you guys do once the season's over? Well, we started recruiting it during our bye week uh, heavy. I mean, we, they've been recruiting all year long. I mean, we start making contacts with recruits in the spring, and uh, we start with phone calls and getting them to games uh, throughout the course of the fall. Uh, now it comes down to visiting them in their homes and trying to see, you know, is this the right person who's going to be a fit for our program, uh, and are we the right fit for them uh, to where they want to get a degree and continue playing their uh, football career. So recruiting uh, probably is busier than the season, uh, and we probably spend more hours during the day recruiting uh, than we do actually preparing for an opponent. So uh, up until uh, the first week in February, uh, our coaches will be on the road recruiting, on the phone talking to recruits, uh, in, in homes, having players and uh, their families come visit us. Uh, so it, it's, it's a very time-consuming uh, part of our job. Well, I know you haven't had a lot of time to sit back and think about the season yet, but uh, how would you encapsulate it in a couple of sentences? And uh, knowing what you've got coming back next year, what are, do you think that the team's strengths are going to be and what are some things that you might want to focus on? Well, I, you know, I, I think I have uh, kind of both sides of the emotions on, on this season. Six and four, I think a lot of people would take that and say that's a good year. Um, I'm, I'm a little frustrated, obviously, with the way it ended because we were right there, had a great opportunity to, um, you know, win that last game. Uh, and uh, at the same time, uh, I'm, I'm excited about the number of guys that we do have coming back. Um, the fact that, uh, you know, Fred Williams only played one game for us, we'll get him back in a medical red shirt. DeMonte Terry, Mike Isabel, two running backs that were crucial to our running game. Uh, we get both of those guys back. Uh, and then we just had, uh, you know, some, some guys that were very crucial to our special teams uh, get injured, uh, which really kind of put us a little thin on some of our special teams. So I'm excited about what we have coming back. We got a very good group uh, that I think understands what needs to take place and how it needs to take place. Uh, so I think the future is very bright. Fantastic. Well, the, lastly, I, wanna, I mentioned scheduling earlier. I wanted to address it now. We talked briefly a little bit last week, uh, last time you were on the show about it. Um, are you making further progress in the schedule? What's the likelihood of the team uh, finishing getting 11 games on the schedule next year? And, and uh, is the Two Rivers Classic going to continue? Two Rivers Classic will continue, uh, so we're excited about that. I think we've got a couple more years uh, left on that contract. Uh, I believe right now our schedule is uh, close to nine games. I think 
think we've got a 10th game that we're in discussion with. Um, so as we mentioned, as an independent, it's just difficult to find games. Um, but we do have some, you know, we, we have some returning uh, teams. I mean, we will play um, Tusculum again. We will to play Catawba again, Wingate again. Winston-Salem will play them again. We picked up Valdosta State. Uh, we're actually going to uh, UNC Charlotte uh, in right. their first season. Uh, so I, I think we'll have another challenging, demanding schedule in front of us. Uh, but I think one that will prepare us if we play well, uh, prepare us for a postseason opportunity. All right, Coach, we enjoyed the season this year, and you and your family and your coaching staff, please enjoy the offseason. When we come back, we're going to talk a little cross-country with head coach Gary Acock.